Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to discuss the question largest binary search tree in a binary tree. What is binary search tree? Binary search tree is a binary tree with additional constraint that everything on the left subtree is less than or equal to root and everything on the right subtree is greater than root and this is recursively true for every node. So here we are looking for the largest binary search tree in this binary tree. So for example here this is a binary search tree and its size is 3 while this here is not a binary search tree. So we have to find the largest binary search tree in this tree. This can be done in two ways. One is uh, going from top to bottom. So in that approach, what we do is we find is, is the tree with this guy as a root a binary tree or not? So in another video, I've already discussed that algorithm, how to find a BST with a, a given, for a given, given binary tree. So, so for 25, 20 is less than 25 but is on, but it is on the right side of 25 so this tree with this 25 as a root is not a binary search tree so then we fan out on left side and right side and try to find the largest binary search tree so for 18 19 is uh, greater than 18 but it is on the left side so this subtree is also not a binary search tree so similarly we keep going left and right the problem with this approach is it takes o of n square time to find the largest binary search tree we are going to use a post-order traversal to find the largest binary search tree in O of n time. So what post-order traversal is? We visit everything on the left side, we visit everything on the right side, and then we'll use that information to find the largest BST. So let's find the largest BST for this binary tree. Let's do a post-order traversal on this tree. So we start from 25, we go to 18, we go to 19, and then we reach 15. Remember post-order traversal is left, right, and then visit. So at 15, 15 returns uh, those four values to 19 with true 1, 15, 15. So what this means is that subtree with 15 as its root is a binary search tree, which is why it's returning true. The 1 is the size of that binary search tree. 15 is the minimum value in this subtree and 15 is also the maximum value on this subtree. So 19 gets a true from its right side so what 19 is going to verify is with 19 included is it still a binary search tree so for that to happen the minimum on the right side which is 15 should be greater than the value at the root which is 19 19 is not is uh, is is greater than 15 so 15 is not greater than 19 so 9 with 19 included this is not a binary search tree so 19 returns false the size of the binary search tree it found in here so that's one uh, and it doesn't matter what it returns for min or max because your binary search tree is it's not a binary search tree anymore so it doesn't matter what it returns for max or uh, min or max so 18 goes to 20 20 goes to 18 so what this 18 returns to 20 is uh, true 1 18 18 again with 18 as a root of a binary search tree, it is a binary search tree. The size of that binary search tree is 1. Minimum is 18 and maximum is 18. And this piece of information is returned to 20. What 25 returns is true, 1, 25, 25. So 20 gets true from both its left and right. So it means that both its less left and right subtrees are binary search tree. Only thing now 20 needs to verify is that including 20, only thing 20 needs to verify is that including 20 is it still continue to be a binary search tree? So for that, the minimum of the right side should be greater than 20. So the minimum of the right side is 25, so that's greater than 20, so that's good. And the maximum on the left subtree, which is 18, should be less than or equal to 20, which is also again true. So this three here continue to be a binary search tree. So what 20 is going to return to 18 is true, saying that this subtree is a binary search tree. The size, size is size of the left side plus size of the right side plus one. So that's three. And, and then the minimum of the entire binary search tree. The minimum of entire binary search tree is the minimum of the left side. So that's 18. And then the maximum of the entire binary search tree. Maximum of the binary, entire binary search tree is the max of the right side. So that's 25. So this 18 gets a false from here and true from here. So it means that with a subtree with 18 as its root cannot be a binary search tree because one side is not a binary search tree. 
So what 18 will do is just return the max of the size from either left or right. So that's 3. So what 18 returns to 25 is false, saying that subtree with 18 as its root is not a binary search tree. But it, but it has found a binary search tree of size 3, so it returns 3. And then minimum and maximum doesn't matter. So then 25 goes to 50, 50 goes to 35, 35 goes to 20, and 20 goes to 25. So what this 25 again returns is true. 1, 25, 25 to 20. So what 20 checks is, is the, so it, what 20 gets is true from its right side. So only thing it checks is, is the, uh, minim, it's a, is, is, is the minimum on the right side, which is 25, greater than 20? It is. So it means that including 20, this is still a binary search tree. So what it returns to 35 is true. Size is 1 plus 1, so that's true, 2. And then the minimum of the left, minimum of this subtree, which is 20. And then the max of this subtree. Max of this subtree is the max of the right side, so that's 25. So this piece, this four piece of information is returned by 20 to 35. And then 40 returns to 35 is uh, true. 1, 40, 40. It's a binary search tree, size is 1, minimum is 40, and maximum is 40. So 35 gets true from left, true from right. So it knows that it's left and right subtree are binary search tree. All it needs to verify is, including 35, does it still continue to be a binary search tree? So for that to happen, the max of the left side, which is 25, should be less than or equal to 35, which is true. And the min on the right side, which is 40, should be greater than 35, which is also true. So with 35, it continues to be a binary search tree. So what 35 returns to 50 is true. Yes, this subtree is binary search tree. The maximum size, maximum size is the size of left 2 plus 1, 3 plus this 1, so 4. And then the minimum of this subtree, minimum of this subtree is, um, is the minimum of the left side, which is 20. And maximum of this subtree is maximum of the right side, which is 40. So 35 returns these four pieces of information to 50. Then 50 goes to 60, 60 goes to 55. So 55 returns true. 1, 55, 55. And then 70 returns true. 1, 70, 70. And then 60 verifies, similarly verifies that its left and right subtree are binary search tree. And 60 is greater than the max of left and 60 is less than the min of right. So this is continues to be a binary search tree. So 60 returns true. Size is 1 plus 1 plus 1, so that's 3. Uh, minimum of the entire subtree, which is 55. And max of the entire subtree, which is 70. So 55 gets this from the, 50 gets this from the left side and this from the right side. So what 50 does is it knows that its left subtree is binary search tree, its right subtree is binary search tree. And then 50 is greater than the max of the left side and 50 is less than the min of the right side. So it is also a binary search tree in, with including 50. So what 50 returns to 25 is true. And then 3 plus 4, 7 plus 1, 8. And then the min of the left side, which is 20. And the max of the entire subtree, which is 70. So this piece of information is returned to 25. So 25 gets a false from this side, true from this side. So what it knows is that with this subtree, with a tree with 25 as a root cannot be a binary search tree because one half is not a binary search tree. So all, all it does is it returns a max of whatever it got from left to right. So that is 8. So 8 is returned to the calling function. So 8 is the size of a maximum largest binary search tree in this binary tree and that is this one. Fifth, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Again, the runtime complexity for this algorithm is O of n. All we did is a post-order traversal going from bottom to up and keep propagating this information up to the, uh, to the root and then root just return the maximum size subtree. The link to the code is in the description section of the video. Again, I ask my viewers to help me improve my Git rep GitHub repository by contributing to it. The link to the repository is github.com mission piece interview wiki. And also you could uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com user to 2525. Thanks for watching this video.